Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment, and today in front of us we have the ACS ACS Minima Dual Boiler Espresso Machine, which provides good value. And today we're going to go over a couple things. A uh, quick tip on this machine, as well as a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, to start, we'll start with the upgrade. Uh, they made a heavier knob and handle and as you can see there's a white film with green lettering this is just a protective film uh, that some manufacturers do decide to leave on their machines uh, so there's no fingerprints once you start up the machine with water make sure everything is working then go ahead and remove the film don't remove the film first it's better to start up make sure that everything is perfect before you take the film off so from here we have that a little improvement in the back here which you can't see is they inscribed ACS into the back frame that you can see from the top but the improvement and the quick tip is here in the reservoir section as I always say remove the reservoir when you're filling okay so that removing means removing the cap and you'll see three hoses here but you want to remove this when you're filling this uh, reservoir the reason is you don't want to pour water inside the uh, machine because there are holes here for the heat to come up but if you look here on this cover or cap for the reservoir um, you see a longer hose with a particle filter inside there there is a hard um, tube that they attach to the poly tube here if you're attaching a water softener such as our V725 uh, water softener this particle filter needs to come off and the tube and then you can insert the hose into the particle filter You'll see another short hose. This is the return from the OPV. And then the improvement that they've made, instead of having a micro switch that basically shuts off when the water tank empties, and what happens in the past was if the water softener was too heavy, it would keep this depressed. So the switch depressed. So you have a basically a sensor here that um, measures the water volume and when this kind of hits air, uh, that mean, or the water level drops, it shuts off the power to the heating element, gives you an H2O signal. Now, the quick tip here is that if you look where these hoses are positioned, the hoses come from the front over here. When you're putting this into the tank, okay, and putting the cover back, okay, and I'm doing it sideways so you could see it, this here, uh, the water level sensor, has to be closest to this corner. If you put it to the furthest corner, then that hose, okay, will be higher because it's got to stretch more to go across. So then you'll have more water in the tank. So make sure that this thin hose is near this corner. The other hose, the OPV, could be in the farthest corner, and then the intake hose, that's the OPV, the intake hose with the particle filter, that can be closer. Uh, so that can reach the bottom and basically once you fill this with water on the reservoir again Try to twist it where this hose is closest Okay, and you push the hose in let's get these other hoses in and Basically what you're going to end up doing is putting that one as close as possible to this corner that um, hose that has the water level sensor Okay, uh, it's a really good tip uh, to follow because if not, the water reservoir is going to be or have more water uh, if you have it on the farthest end. And I think they designed this on purpose to do that. Uh, I really do because I've been giving a lot of thought and I think they did that. So hopefully you uh, could see the quick little upgrade that they did here. Remember to remove the film and also how to set the three hoses in the reservoir for your enjoyment of this wonderful dual boiler espresso machine called the ACS Minnow. If you have any questions or comments, please visit the link uh, down below uh, to our website. Once again, this is Java Jim with First Line Equipment. Thank you for watching. And as they say, coffee first, everything else second.